what I would like to see for the future of transportation is watching it continue to reinvent itself. If you look at all the great organizations over time, their sustainability has been built on uh, reinvention and continuing to improve that product that it puts out every single day. Uh, how do we do that in transportation? I think that's about taking it back to the community and building communities around transportation. Uh, when you do that, uh, you really drive home that transportation is not just a sign on a pole. Uh, it's a part of your community. It's a part of your future, uh, and you can build off of that. So it's a continual reinvention of the product that's been there for a long time. I think that one of the most overlooked issues, which also continues to be probably one of the most talked about issues, is uh, sufficient funding and how you build uh, transit master plans and how you build uh, transportation in a metropolitan area that's growing uh, around that plan. I think when you talk about people who are continuing to move uh, to inside the city, uh, you're also seeing some uh, pretty explosive growth in the outlying counties <clears throat> and cities outside the major metropolitan area. Uh, and I think we continue to talk about how we would love to have a vibrant transit system, um, but we need to talk about how we're going to pay to do that. And I think that's an issue both on the federal uh, and the state and local level, and I think there's still a lot of work that needs to be done there. Probably the best advice I've ever received was uh, when I was younger uh, and somebody said, hey, you should take all of that energy and belief that you have in your work ethic and what you want to bring to the organization and have that same belief, if not more, uh, in others that are around you, either on a peer level uh, or those that work for you, uh, believe in their vision uh, and help support their organizational goals. And you'll learn so much more uh, about your job and where you want to go uh, by watching others than you ever will being in the trench by yourself. Uh, and that has been probably one of the truest uh, pieces of advice I've ever been given and uh, still holds true to this day.